My name is Felix Holst and I'm a designer and an artist. This piece is it, it's kind of special to me. Um, it's the first collaboration I've done um, with, with anybody um, and when Magnus suggested it, at first I was like, I don't know, you know, I'm the artist. Um, how, do I, how do I integrate somebody else into my work? Um, but as I thought about it, you know, and, and, and thought about Magnus and the way that he approaches things, um, it became quite an intriguing proposition. And I've, I've known Magnus for quite a while, since my Hot Wheels days, um, and we've gradually built up quite a, you know, quite a nice kind of friendship that's, that's based around the fact that we're, we're both from the same place in the world, we're both from the north of England, we both like the same things, we have a lot of the same cultural references, um, and obviously we're both Brits in Los Angeles involved in the car scene. And so the more I thought about it, and I thought about it like, thinking about it like a portrait of somebody, rather than a collaboration with somebody, um, it really became quite exciting. Um, so, as I thought about it, and, 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 I, and I, I realized that I, I kind of felt it needed to be a kind of portrait of a, of a number of icons, right? I think that Magnus Walker is a kind of cultural icon in contemporary Los Angeles car culture. Obviously, the LA River um, is both synonymous with Los Angeles um, and synonymous with Magnus in, in the impact he's made with where he actually lives. Um, but also, you know, it's this very cinematic part of Los Angeles. And so, as I thought more about it, the notion of like a movie poster or like a classic rock poster with with the 277 car at Magnus in the middle of it um, actually started being quite exciting. And when I started working with Magnus on the overall, I sketched a layout of, of and I, took, I actually took him down to the river and positioned him and the car in, in the way and, and photographed it in the way that I, 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 I wanted to present it um, and I kind of knocked up a sketch piece on that session and then we sat down together um, and worked out some graphic elements and there was I, I had thought about putting graphics into my paintings for a while but I just hadn't had the confidence to do it um, and he, he, he definitely pushed me to think beyond what I'm known for and experiment a bit more um, with some of the kind of icon, iconography and graphics that we've put in this thing. Um, certainly, you know, the, 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 the checkered finish line, the arrows, the chevrons, the lightning bolt is directly from his wrist. He's got a lightning bolt on his wrist as a tattoo. Um, and the more we worked it up, and obviously the Union Jack represents us, but there's also a, you know, a US flag. We've both recently become citizens when we painted this, um, so that was fairly meaningful for us. Um, and then, you know, actually like laying paint down with Magnus, he's known for you know, this kind of like weathered, ex um, worn and weathered, like antique aesthetic. Um, and so one of, the, one of the really interesting things was working with him on the background to kind of get this like weathered look. It almost looks like old denim or leather. Um, and then once we got to that point, I kind of took over and started really getting into the, 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 the painting techniques. Um, but I think it's I think it's something I'm very very proud of. I think it's point, it points the way to more work um, in this style, and it certainly it certainly pushed me to evolve my style. Um, and that you know for that I can thank him. Like working with somebody else certainly moved my art forward in this instance. So going forward, I think these collaborations are 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 something that I'm really really quite excited about. You know. This follows the, the success of the collaborative sculpture that I did with Rod Emery, um, which, which you know, w was incredibly well received and raised some good money for charity. Now working with Magnus to produce this kind of like 70s rock poster version of kind of Los Angeles car culture um, has driven my art in a different direction. Um, and that's something which I'm now beginning to relish. Um, the, the idea of f future collabs with, with people who bring something to my art that, that I perhaps wouldn't have done myself or perhaps wouldn't have had the confidence to do it, it is a wildly exciting way um, of me continuing to evolve what I do and who I am and, and kind of the part I play in this wonderful culture of ours. 
And so, so a big part of the project, right, as a collaboration, was to actually produce um, some prints. And so we printed two, 277 was the number, um, limited run prints, um, which did very, very well. Um, and now I kind of feel it's time to kind of tie the knot on the project and offer the original, which is substantially larger than the prints. Um, I, I, pr I believe it's 40 by 55 inches. It's quite a large piece. Um, and I think now's the time to, you know, tie the knot on the end of the project and, and offer this piece for sale.